Uh, this is a, a matter of simple and profound equity uh, because uh, these students who can qualify for assistance under this institutional aid program pay into that fund through their tuition. Uh, we have over the years uh, tried to uh, provide opportunities for these hardworking young people, many of whom uh, know of no life anywhere other than in the United States. The equity is that they do pay tuition, they do pay fees, uh, and they are paying fees into an account out of which they are ineligible to receive funding currently, and this bill would change that. Uh, and so what the bill will do, beginning with the 2019 fall semester, will extend to certain students who lack immigration status, eligibility for institutional financial aid uh, to attend an in-state uh, public higher education institution. So uh, this is a, uh, a, in, a, in effect, a continuance of what we began with the 2011 legislation, which was compassionate and fair and pragmatic. On the great seal of the United States is included the motto, E Pluribus Unum, uh, out of many one. And it is a recognition that this nation was built and it's continued to be built uh, by a diverse array of people. And granting access, access to institutional aid is a matter of fairness. It's the right thing to do. And these students are Connecticut kids. And we all know it sounds cliche, uh, but they are our future. I've really got to start by thanking students. Um, the power of their stories. Many of you in this room today have heard their stories over the past month up in this building, and their stories are compelling. I think each of us who've worked on this bill and serve on higher education have a picture in our head of a student that had an impact on us. We negotiated this bill. It was quite a moment to be sitting in a conference room with my Republican colleagues and with me negotiating a bill uh, that we could agree on. And what we did was we integrated portions of the DACA rules into state statute uh, to meet some of their concerns about the bill. Uh, so that it was a, it was a collaborative effort uh, with my Republican colleagues, and they worked hard to come up with a compromise that would accommodate the students and give them financial aid and accommodate some of the concerns um, that they had. So um, this is the best of Connecticut. We're opening our doors and opening up access to higher education. I'm happy to cast a vote today that says, yes, please move forward. Uh, please uh, get to the end of the process where the dream is a reality. Uh, and I'm happy that we're doing this today in a way where it's not about party. We all realize what equity is and we act like it in the state of Connecticut. So thank you. I'm especially pleased that this is a bipartisan piece of legislation. Uh, that brings everybody together to provide what is absolutely um, a right. These young people pay into this system and they should have the right to use the system that is there. And that's really what it's all about is uh, leveling the playing field for everybody and allowing them to access a portion uh, of what they actually pay into. I'm so excited that this day has finally come and I want to thank Senator Looney, Senator Bai, and Representative Haddad for their years of work of trying to fight for this, this equity for these students. I want to thank uh, Senator Linares and Representative Stineski and Senator Fasano for their work in finding a bipartisan compromise on this legislation so we can finally create fairness for these students. And I'm very lucky to represent more college students than any other member of the Connecticut General Assembly. And as you've heard about already this morning, these students have been so brave. And some of these students have been telling their stories for years and they're already done with school. They're not even gonna benefit for it. And yet here they've been year after year fighting for this legislation saying that it's just simply not fair that undocumented students have to pay into the financial aid pool and then cannot access this. I just want to thank them so much. You've heard that it was brave for them to come forward and tell their stories. There is, this is a moment in our country where it's incredibly scary to be undocumented. And so for these students to come forward and tell their stories so bravely, especially if there's someone who's not going to benefit from this change in the law, I, I, I can't think of any few things more courageous than that. So I'm just so grateful for these students and I'm grateful that after years of work, tireless work, these students, you've seen them, they've been in the halls year after year after year fighting for this legislation that it's finally going to happen today and I'm hopeful that the House will follow suit and vote for this measure in a bipartisan fashion as well. Thank you.